Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the under the bridge spilling way that is close to my house. We are here for a couple reasons. Number one, Lou is still very pregnant. We went to the uh, hospital this morning. It was a false alarm. At the very least, it'll be Tuesday, the whatever the hell, 25th, something like that. But uh, also, my buddy Dylan came and he actually fished on the other side. Not really sure how he got over there. We might have to figure it out eventually. But he caught a flathead out of this spot. Finally. I've always been saying I think there should be a flathead here. I guarantee there's a flathead here. And, well, boys and girls, I'm not right very often, but I was right. So, we got some live bait. We're going to give it a shot and stuff and things. But, yeah. Alrighty, boys and girls, I've actually been down here for about 10 minutes when I walked down and dropped my backpack on the ground. It uh, it uh, caused a feeding frenzy, not of fish, but uh, of mosquitoes. They've been pretty much swarming me the entire time I've been down here, so hopefully as the sun goes up, they go away. But uh, yeah, if I am just randomly swatting at myself, you know why. But uh, yeah, we got some live bait. We have some green sunfish. Um, we still have crawlers. We're gonna do crawler stuff, but the main goal the main focus is to try to catch a flathead on live bait or even a bigger channel on live bait. We got some uh, heavy current up there. We got some big concrete rocks and then we got a pretty steep drop back here. So got two catfish poles, just kind of kind of bounce the green sunfish around, move them from place to place and see if we can't get lucky. The uh, flathead my buddy caught, Dylan caught was an absolute giant. So uh, yeah, there's at least one big giant flathead here. We got caught a few days ago. So we might be shit out of luck. I have no idea or pissing in the wind, however you want to say it, but we're going to give it a try stuff and things but out. I don't know if I explained that good enough but yeah Boo and I went to the hospital this morning just to get things checked out she was having contractions but her water did not break and she is not dilated is that the word I'm not a scientist but uh yeah false alarm this coming Tuesday she's scheduled for induction look at me using words so yeah at the very least we're gonna have her on have the baby on Tuesday at some point i need to figure out where i'm going to put a pole holder up here i also have another big announcement look at those rods the ones on the right talk about those more here in a little bit hmm 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 should be good enough i guess kind of sketchy but good enough for who it's for this is where the skeeters were so i gotta watch out yep there they are got that little bastard Got that little bastard. Man, I get all sorts of ticks on me and all sorts of bugs on me throughout the year, but my least favorite bug of all time is probably a mosquito. And if it's not mosquitoes, it's probably fire ants. I think this is one of the bigger ones that we bought. And if not, he's definitely up there. Some smalls, but we also got some schmediums. Got a four ounce weight on this one because we're going to throw it down here a little bit out of the current. And yeah, then we're gonna drop one in the heavy current and we're gonna fish with night crawlers for fun while we wait. In my opinion, the best thing you can do while calf fishing is distract yourself. Cause without distracting yourself, to be honest with you, calf fishing is kind of boring. Unless you got beer or you got food to cook or food or eat, then distracting yourself is the best option. We'll go a little bit smaller one on this one. We don't have a lot of bait, but we do have five. In a small spot like this, if five isn't good enough, then it probably never was going to be good enough. Yeah, five ounce weight on here, four ounce on the other one. Just going to kind of drop it off the edge right here. See if I can get it to hold without getting snagged. Definitely very deep. And uh, looks pretty fishy. Alrighty, boys and girls. Time to distract ourselves. But I'm going to distract myself up here because this pole isn't in a pole holder. And I dropped the green sunfish right here and nothing ate it, but right in this little pocket's kind of where I did well last time. So we are going to start here with the jig head crawler. Something attacked that one down there. I don't know what it was, but it had a big gash in its side. I think it was either a turtle or a gar. I suppose it could have been a flathead, but I doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I really hope it's not turtles. I actually went fishing yesterday. I did catch a couple fish on these old stash sticks. First fish of this pole's career was a tiny ass drum bud. Wouldn't have it any other way. But uh, yeah, we ended up catching, by we, I mean me, caught a lot of turtles. And that's a fish. And it's not small. 
Mm -hmm. Good, stay away from that line, bud. Good. Old medium light 6.6 six stash stick. Sure is gonna be fun catching some four to five pound, three pound, whatever pound this fish is on this 6.6 uh, six six medium light. Could be used as a crappie pole. Could be used as a bluegill pole, bait fish pole. Could be used as an any pole, but we'll forget about the drum fish. This is the first real fish of this pole's career. And he's on the other side of the damn creek. We don't want him over there. No, no, he's going where I don't want him to. We're gonna have to tighten down a notch on this bud, I think. I don't know if we're getting this bud in actually. Yes, we are. Maybe. <clears throat> Dicey. How's my other pole up there doing? Good enough. Man, this thing's nice. Kind of biased because it has my damn name on it. This thing's pretty nice. Nice and light. The lightest pole of the Six Sense Arsenal is this pole right here, I believe. I know Benjamin was working on a crappie pole. Maybe he's got a lighter one, I'm not sure, but this one will be good for everything. Hopefully it can handle random big fish when we get them. I don't know if that's a channel or a carp, but I think it's a carp. That one's clicking. Might just be the sunfish though, that sunfish is a little bigger. Other pole is still fine. Well, no wonder the green sunfish didn't get ate. There was a carp fish up there. One of the bigger carp fish I've caught in a while, too. Um, but yeah, these poles are not available yet. I have no idea when they're going to be available. I have no idea how much they cost because I haven't asked. I've been busy with baby stuff and trying to get content for you guys. So I'll figure it out eventually and I will let you know. Am I recording? I'm recording. The old 6.6 six medium light stash stick has slayed its first carp fish. Man, what a special moment, boys and girls. Things got dicey there for a second, but we got her. We got her. Jig head crawler, medium sized Euro tackle tungsten jig head for the win. And yeah, we got a carpy. Little carpy. I'm not even gonna try to pick him up. He looks. He looks charged. He looks like he called it. He looks like he wants to splash the shit out of me, and he sure did. He sure did. Let's see what's going on with this guy. All else will show you is gash. You guys can comment down below on what you think tried to eat the green sunfish. Probably not a flathead, but. I don't know, their, their tooth pads are kind of sharp sometimes, boys and girls, maybe it was. Kind of looks like a damn bird tried to eat him, but he's been underwater, so that's not the case. That was deeper, let's try there. Kind of had it on the other side by that bluff wall, but. All right, well, let's go up top and do that again. How are you doing, Stratic? Little Sandy, doing good. Doing good. How are you guys doing today? You doing well? You doing any fishing? You doing any stuff? Whatever stuff you're doing, I hope you have a good time doing it. And I'm gonna have a good time doing this. And stuff. I'm as a hold of this. Or it did. And my heart is racing. That looked more flat heady. It also looked like it dropped it. No. Still got it. There it is. There it is. Not big, but not bad. Yes. Flathead, boys and girls. Flathead. Yes, yes, that is a cool looking dude too. He ain't big, but every flathead is special to me. 
thought it looked like a flathead bite. I just threw that out too. I just threw that out. Let's get a better look at this dude. I'm gonna throw this in the pole holder real quick and let's take a gander. Yes! No baby today, but we've got a flathead. I'd rather have the baby and stuff. All right, let's get this boy unhooked. Screen sunfish has seen better days, but we might as throw, well throw him back out one more time for a little bit. Got it. Green sunfish is actually still kicking. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I knew it looked like a flat eddy spot, and shout out to my buddy Dylan for proving it, and then I just proved it once again. And like I said in the last video here, Jonathan did catch a really tiny one, but yeah. This one's still tiny, but he's kind of like medium. Green sunfish, only been here for about 20 minutes. And um, yeah, hopefully his grandma is hungry today. Is that another pole flying? Another pole is fine, let's get him back. All right, little flathead bud. You look kind of skinny. Why don't you try to eat something without a hook in it? They're just so damn camouflaged. So damn camouflaged. Well, boys and girls, it's nice when you have a goal and um, not a lot of time and you can get it done in a quick manner. And even though I got it done in a small manner, I still got it done. Flathead and a carp on the stash stick. And we're just getting started and stuff. All right, Greeny, you're going back out just because we don't have a ton of bait. And you're still a wiggly SOB. Sorry to torture like this. Either a gar or a turtle tried to eat you or a bird. And then a flathead ate you and you're still wiggling. You went from living in your little fish tank to whatever type of hell this is, but... I feel bad for you, but... I'm having fun. Not in a sick sadistic way, but in a I caught a flathead kind of way. Well, we'll try that hole again. Maybe kind of start moving it up every 10, 15 minutes or so. Flatheads bite pretty quick. I mean, I didn't have that in the water very long before that flathead ate it. And yeah, kind of at nighttime, you can kind of just sit and chill and wait for them to come out and move out of their holes. But during the day, your best option is to move around as much as possible. I turn this camera off. Oh shit. <laughs> Still recording, battery's almost dead too. Yeah. See you guys. All right, I got another little tap on my crawler, so we'll go back up and start doing that again. This pull's fine. Yes, this pull is fine. I wish it wasn't. I wish drag was getting ripped out of it, but can't get greedy, boys and girls. Can't get greedy, but you can hope for the best, and that's what I'm doing and stuff. Come grab the hold of this one up here. Swam under the damn bridge though. Got him. Got him. Got him. He's stuck though. Do I still got him? I still got him. Nice. Another one. Another one. Kind of hit it like a channel though. Nope, another flathead. Nice. I was just walking up to uh, actually move this one. And uh, yeah, my camera wasn't on, but it pulled out a decent amount of line. Man, I knew there had to be a lot of flatheads here. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. It's been kind of a struggle though. Besides the first 15 minutes, but. That is flathead number dose. And we actually got this flathead out of the structure which we've been messing up on a lot this year. Nope. We got it. And we got our sunny. Not too bad, boys and girls. Not too bad. Not too good either. A little bit smaller than the first one, but came out to catch flatheads today. And uh, we know there's big ones here thanks to Dillon. But yeah, we'll take the pipsqueaks. I mean, look at his camouflage. Camouflage. Camouflage ridiculous just how does how does anything even see them how do little bait fish swimming by even see them well not a lot of them do i suppose because i think most flatheads eat pretty good but yeah we still got our green sunfish and i'm not sure if you guys have ever heard me say or other people say or someone say that uh they reel in their bait after thinking of flathead bites and even a flathead that small didn't leave a single mark on this dude Pretty incredible, eh? 
Pretty incredible. You know, they just, they just engulf it. They suck it down when they want it anyway. Sometimes they'll just nibble at it, but if you get a really good bite on a live bait, and a big one, comes in without a mark on it, I can almost guarantee it, it was a flathead. I can almost guarantee you. There is an undercut on that side of the bridge for sure. I figured there would be, but now I know there is. Boo ain't feeling the best. She's kind of hurting. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna give it a little bit longer. Try to catch one more flathead, hopefully a big one, maybe some other random, random trash fish or some shit, and then I'm gonna go spend time with Boo. And I'm gonna spend the next 20 or 30 minutes trying to catch something big and stuff. I think one has it again. Didn't quite rip out as much line as the first one, but started clicking out of nowhere. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Another one. Same sunfish, too. Same sunfish. Nope. Get away from there, bud. Bigger. 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 Not super giant, but definitely bigger. Hell yeah, boys and girls. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, stepped on the stash stick. Same sunfish, same spot. Another flatty. Another flatty. I was on them pretty quick, too. They're just like engulfing it. Just post spawn. They ain't giving them any time to run away, I can tell you that. Nope. We got a gut puker. And we got a pretty decent one. Hopefully we can get it out. If not, we got the scissors ready. <clears throat> Badass, man. Man, I sure would have liked to have the baby today. And I'm sure Boo would take having the baby today over flatheads. But it's a nice consolation prize, boys and girls. Nice consolation prize. How are you, bud? Green sunfish lives on. Ah! My heads don't normally bite very hard, but that dude just bit the shit out of me. All right, boys and girls, now we got a medium one. Flathead number three today. He's got some pretty cool patterns. Camera's about to die. We gotta get going, but. Neato burrito, boys and girls, neato burrito. Let's get him back. All right, you big mean thing. Look at you. Spawn scars. All right, one more live. Okay, camera died. Hopefully that clip saved. Hopefully that clip saved, but we're on to something, boys and girls. We are on to something and stuff. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to go check on Boo. And while I wanted to do like a formal out outro with my big camera, my big camera's dead, so this will have to work. But uh, yeah, stash sticks coming soon i'll keep you posted i've been waiting for this moment since i was a little kid you know you're watching like the bass master classic they got all their signature poles and such and a lot of a lot of kids like me and a lot of kids out there right now are dreaming dreaming that they could have their own fishing poles and um finally happened for me and let me tell you what boys just like i say about youtube every now and again if i can do it anyone can do it but uh yeah three flathead day wasn't expecting that i was expecting maybe to get one bite or talk about flatheads the whole time and catch carp which is what it's been happening lately but uh yeah we got three of them I actually missed another one just a little bit ago but it's time to go check on boo she sounds like she's in pain and not having a good time so i'm gonna go hang out with her and hang out with the kid and uh yeah maybe cook some lunch but if you like this video give this video a thumbs up leave us a comment subscribe i will link dylan's channel down below because he inspired me to actually take the time to get some live bait and come down here so uh, yeah thanks for watching see you later stuff and thanks for pal goodbye